Some changes are coming soon to Maynardville Pike in the Halls area. Yeah, you know, Knox County has plans to make the intersection with Ledgerwood Road safer for drivers and pedestrians. As some of you may know, this is right by Halls High and Middle Schools where a lot of students cross the road and parents say it is dangerous. Right, WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford joins us from there right now. Kirsty. All right, so here on Ledgerwood, uh, Ledgerwood Road, the county is going to be building sidewalks leading all the way from Halls High School down to the highway. And once you get to the highway, there will be new traffic light and crosswalks at that intersection. One parent tells me she's ready to feel safer with her child walking in the area. That road is extremely dangerous. Brandy Pierce knows this personally. Two years ago, my son was leaving school, um, Halls High School, and was um, struck by a vehicle while crossing Ledgerwood Road. Fortunately, Pierce's son survived, walking away with six stitches. But ever since, she's wanted changes made to the intersection. And now, plans are set in stone. I'm hoping after these sidewalks, the red lots, um, it's, it's going to be easier for people to walk on, even cross the Maryville Highway, going to the Cuban restaurant. Rural Metro spokesperson Jeff Bagwell says there's been 93 crashes along Maynardville Highway from the city limits to the county line since 2019. He says many of them end up being severe because of the speeds involved. It is a very busy street with lots of traffic. Uh, and once you get past this intersection, it's pretty much a speedway from there on out. Uh, I think the speed limit's 55. Uh, and that's a slow speed in most cases. The county plans on adding crosswalks, vehicle access to businesses on the east side of the intersection, and a traffic light at the intersection. Bagwell says the improvements will fix a few of the issues they see in the area. The one benefit of a, of a traffic signal is it will slow people down from the red light right uh, to the south of us uh, at Emory Road to this point. That's all Pierce is hoping for, slower drivers and signals forcing them to pay attention to the road, plus the assurance her son will have somewhere to walk besides in the road or grass. It's going to be relieving for the parents. Um, dropping your students off in the mornings or picking them up from school, it's, you won't have to have that worry. Are they going to get hit today? Brandy Pierce thanks Mayor Glenn Jacobs and uh, County Commissioner at large Justin Biggs for for being behind these changes since day one ever since her son was hit by a car in this area. She hopes that when uh, she says that when school lets out this area can be really congested so she hopes that the improvements gives everyone better direction. Reporting live in Halls, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Kirsty, thank you. Yeah, those improvements badly needed in that area, that is for sure. And construction at the intersection is scheduled to start September or October and finish by the end of the year. Rural Metro wants to remind some drivers out there congestion might be worse while construction goes on, and it's going to take drivers some time to go ahead and get used to the changes once it is all completed.